Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Today, I wanted to show you how to wire up a analog input card on the S7-1200. So there is multiple ways to wire up an analog input card. So I'll explain all three ways, which will be the four wire, which would be this one, the three wire, which would be this one, and the two wire, which would be this one. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to wire up the four wire analog input. So let me zoom in on this. And as you could tell, it's, it's a little bit confusing going on here, but first thing that you need to know is that you always have a transducer. Transducer must be a four wire transducer. If it's any of the other ones, you will need to reference the two wire or the three wire. But if it's a four wire transducer, you use this drawing. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna power up that transducer. So what they have done is they take the plus side of the power supply and then they power up the transmitter with plus. Well, you're missing a negative, so you're also gonna need to add a negative wire that goes over to that transducer, okay? So we got that squared away. So now all we have to do is from that transducer, we have to send the signal back to the controller. So we're gonna need to put the plus to plus and the minus to minus. So let's get that plus wired up and then that minus wired up. So there's one thing that we see on this picture that is kind of confusing is they actually have the minuses jumper together. And this is so that the, the minuses, if you have two different power supplies on the four wire transducer, this is so they bond to each other. So what you wanna do is you always want to wire your negatives together and then after that, we have our four wire transducer wired up and everything. So let's uh, zoom out and let's go over how to wire our three wire transducer. So same thing like last time, we're gonna go our, pl our plus to our transducer and we're gonna wire up our minus to the transducer also. But at this point, you only see that there's just one signal wire, which is the output of that transducer. So that will normally be the plus of the analog input. So what you do is you take that signal back to your card, but what are you gonna do with your analog minus? Well, that needs to reference the same minus as the transducer. So key thing, it reference the same thing as the transducer. So if this transducer was powered up with some other power supply other than this power supply that is over here, you will need to reference that minus. You can't just reference any minus, you must reference the same power supply that is connected up to the transducer. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll reference that minus. So we'll go from the minus to minus. So that completes the circuit for the three wire transducer. So the last and final one that you can do is the two wire transducer. This is the one that normally gives a little bit of a headache because you have to think about it a little bit. So typically what I always say is you always want to be in series with a two wire transducer. So what you'll do is you'll go from your plus side into the transducer, and then you're gonna get in series. So go from minus to plus, so minus to plus, and then from minus to minus. It goes from the power supply up to transducer, from the minus to the plus of the analog, and then from the minus of the analog, you'll go back to the power supply. Same thing like I said before, everything must be referenced to the power supply that the transducer is using. Don't just reference any minus, you need to go to the minus of the power supply of the transducer. 
That is a quick overview of how to wire up an analog input card on the S7-1200. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching and subscribe.